If you can't tell by my Vaseline and my tissue box, I am a scientist and today we're finna be studying the baddest moms in the history of the internet. Starting off, we have the aunt from Big Hero 6. Now I know she technically isn't a mom, but I had to include her on the list for those two big heroes on her chest. Apart from the melons, she also runs a bakery and she be cooking the most delicious looking food in all of Disney. And every time I see her on screen, Dude, I just get up in there and I start licking the screen like crazy. For the food, of course. Something about her just reminds me of that one friend we had growing up who has a hot mom and you always get hella nervous and sweaty when she talks to you. Big Hero 6 came out in 2014 and I know we've waited 9 years for a sequel to this movie, but I promise you as soon as it comes out, I'll slide my Big Hero 6 inches deep inside that <laughs> You like that? That's called poetry. That is why you pay attention in English class. Anyway, next up we have Grandmama from Coco. No, not that Grandmama. The other Grandmama. Now I know what you're thinking, but I just want you to hear me out. Just listen to my theory for one second. You know how like tree trunks got rings, right? And they tell their age? Well, if you count the number of wrinkles on Grandmama's forehead, you can tell she's roughly 104 years old. And what does this mean? <laughs> People like you should be strung up in the street. It also means that she has a hundred plus years of experience in the bedroom. Think about it. Think about it. She was given head back before we had automobiles. She was given head back in the Revolutionary War. And now imagine you get the opportunity to smash someone with that much experience. It's about to be the best night of your life. Forget about doggy style. Grandmama's about to teach you dinosaur style. I mean, Grandmama probably got bedroom techniques we don't even know about, like, like the Mexican tornado or the 1892 suck and swallow. Like These are techniques that were lost in the sands of time that now you have access to. Now, once again, I'm not messed up for liking Grandmama. I am, in fact, an intellectual. If you're still watching this video, I applaud you for your courage. But now we're gonna take a look at Elastigirl from The Incredibles. I was like, damn nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Now, when I saw Incredibles for the first time, Elastigirl made my teenage self experience emotions I never felt before. I mean, that tight fitting outfit, that face, those hips. I mean, even the Disney animators knew what they were doing with scenes like this. Bro, I, I still can't get over the fact they put this in a kid's movie knowingly. But as a scientist, I gotta add something to it. You know, Elastigirl is made of rubber, right? Do you know what else is made out of rubber? That means you don't need a condom. When All right, next up, we got Ash's mom from Pokemon. And you might have just stood up from your chair right now and said, that's too far, Boris. But hear me out. Hear me out. If you think about it, you've only seen Asher's mom in one or two episodes across the thousands of shows and episodes you've watched in your life. And you instantly recognize that. My friend, that's unequivocal. That's unequivocal proof that she's a baddie. Also, she got like a male Mr. Mom at home. And I've always been suspicious of the motherfucker. Like... I know she's been doing freaky shit with that Mr. Mime because I don't see him cooking, I don't see him cleaning, I don't see him even battling other Pokemon. I know she's up to some shit. Which honestly begs the question, is Mr. Mime Ash's real dad? Because that would actually explain a lot because this motherfucker has the IQ of Rattata. Like my theory was always Professor Oak was Ash's dad, but looking back at it, like he, he's not smart enough to be the son of a presser. Like now for the baddest mom in all of television. It's Mrs. Fox from Fantastic Mr. Fox. Let me preface this by saying I am not a furry, but she is honestly the baddest mom in the whole animal kingdom. The way that fur just flows on her face in the wind, those beautiful curves, those shiny, sexy fox ears. I swear I'm not a furry. Also, did you know like foxes have titties? Cause, oh, I did not know that shit. Like, I wasn't paying attention in 10th grade biology, but damn, foxes be packing. A lot of y'all have probably watched this anime called Beastars, but, um, but none of the characters in that compare with Mrs. Fox. Like, she's the OG. She's just so, uh, foxy, bro. Like, I don't know why I'm attracted to her. I'm, I, I might actually be a furry. 